You're right. And I'm Lauren Calder. Thanks for watching KX News. In our top story tonight, mounting a defense. A November trial is set for the man accused of attacking a Catholic priest at his Animus Church in January. Chad Laguerre of Alexandria, Minnesota, was in court today, hoping the judge would let him make a plea for self-defense. Jim Olson explains. Chad Laguerre's attorney says the defense in the attempted murder case should be able to ask jurors to consider a variation of self-defense to excuse his actions. William Hartle made the case that Laguerre was acting in defense of his girlfriend, Kathleen Chapman, when he allegedly attacked Father Robert Wapensky at the St. Francis Xavier Catholic Church on January 30th in Anamboose, North Dakota. Hartle says the woman would testify that she had been repeatedly raped by Father Wapensky, sometimes in the presence of her daughter. Hartle said Chapman would testify that she had told Laguerre of those attacks, leading Laguerre to take action to defend Chapman against future assaults from the man the court identifies only as John Doe. She feared for her safety. Ms. She informed Mr. Laguerre that she feared for her safety, and Mr. Laguerre believed what Ms. Chapman told him. The prosecution argued against allowing that line of defense, saying the circumstances do not meet the requirements of state law for defending a third person from harm since the woman was not in the church at the time of the attack. There were only two people in, in the facility when this went down, um, Mr. Laguerre and the victim. They were the only two people there. Judge Donovan Foti agreed with the state, reading the text of the law out loud and saying that the defense could not use it in trial. She was not at the facility where the alleged assault took place. And if she was not at the facility, she was not in imminent danger. There was no immediate danger to herself. Judge Foti gave the two sides seven more days to reach a plea deal to avoid a trial. If no deal is reached by next Friday, the case will go to trial in November. Jim Olson, KX News. Laguerre is being held on $250,000 bond at the heart of America Correctional Center in